But what are some of the sunscreens that you can replace them with? Consumer Reports tested several of them, and here are the results. Consumer Reports sunscreen testing isn't exactly a day at the beach. To check a sunscreen's SPF, which stands for Sun Protection Factor, and is a measure of how well a sunscreen protects against sunburn, lotion and spray sunscreens are applied to the backs of test subjects, who then soak in a tub for 40 or 80 minutes, depending on the product's water resistance claim. The area is then exposed to simulated sunlight. The next day, trained experts examine the area for redness. CR's top lotion is Equate Sport Lotion SPF 50, and the top spray is Hawaiian Tropic Island Sport Spray SPF 30. Which one is better? It's really a personal preference, but what really matters is how you apply the sunscreen. The right way to apply a lotion sunscreen is to use a teaspoon per body part that's not covered by clothing. Sprays can be trickier to apply than lotions. It can be harder to judge whether you're completely covering your skin when you use a spray. When you use a spray, you want to hold the can four to six inches away from your skin and spray until your skin glistens. Then rub it in to make sure you get even coverage and repeat again just to be safe. Also, never spray your face. Instead, spray the sunscreen into your hands and rub it onto your face. Sear also recommends being careful using a spray on children because they are more likely to inhale the mist. All of Sierra's top-rated sunscreens contain chemical active ingredients. But if you prefer a mineral or natural sunscreen, Sears test found California Kids Hashtag Super Sensitive Tinted Lotion SPF 30 Plus provided acceptable protection. This is David Fazekas.